So in the last one, we had been looking at l form, strength, and direction being the three things that we're usually interested in. Sometimes we call direction trend. Doesn't make a difference. It's just talking about which way it's going. So with these ones, let's just have a look at a few quick examples. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is form. So there's two types of form. Is it linear or nonlinear? Then the strength, strong, moderate, positive, or weak, um, or no correlation. And then for direction, it's either positive, negative, or no direction. And basically, it means it's flat. Okay. So describe the association, if any, between the variables represented in the following scatter plots. Well, the first one, uh, well, it's negative, right? It's going down. Right, it's pointing down, so that would be negative. Um, let's think about the strength. I'd say it's very strong. The data is all quite closely packed together. It's not a perfect straight line, but it's pretty close to that. And it is a straight line, so it's linear. Let's look at the next one. Well, this one's neither negative nor positive, and it's not really linear or nonlinear. I mean, I guess it's a little linear in the sense that it's going this way, but really, there's just no correlation. And if we read the sign, it actually makes sense. Your Medicare does not affect your income. It's just an arbitrary number. Whereas the age of the computer and the value of the computer, well, as the age of the computer goes up, the value of the computer goes down. Alrighty, well, the next one's got this curve to it. It's not a straight line. It's a curved line. So curved means that it's going to be non-linear. Now, there's a little bit more bunching of it meaning that it's not strong, it's probably more likely going to be moderate. And it still appears to be somewhat increasing, so it's still somewhat positive. It's definitely going up. It's just that it might not be going up by a perfect straight line. It looks more like it's curving up instead. Alrighty. And the last one talks about the exams, uh, which makes sense, you know, as you get older, your income goes up for a little bit, and then at a point it sort of slows down as you reach sort of maximum working age. And then we can look at exam score versus the hours studied. Well, it looks like there's definitely positive trend. Doesn't look as strong as the other one, so I'm probably going to say somewhere between moderate and weak. Again, if I really wanted to be certain on this, I'd probably have to um, find my R squared value or my R value. Um, and I'd still say it's pretty linear. It's just probably a little bit weaker than what we're seeing in some of the other um, graphs we've looking at. Alrighty, so there you can have a look at it. Pretty good viewpoint of just being able to quickly read them off. Now, just as a reminder, form and direction can easily be seen on a graph. It is strength that you have to be careful about. Strength, the only way we can truly determine strength is by looking at an R value. Alrighty. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.